honest opinion about Mav Hoffa? Mav Hoffa. Um, a lot of people don't know that. Um, actually, Mav Hoffa is from my neighborhood. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, Crown Heights. Okay. You know. Um. Uh, as far as I never like came across him or had a, a conversation with him personally, as he was from what I heard, he was name was Red. Mm -hmm. He was a basketball player. You know, when he was doing that, I was in prison. Okay. You know, I did a lot of years in prison. Um, I never heard of the name itself, Matt Hoffa, in my neighborhood mm -hmm. until the industry, the, until the uh. Me and him start beefing on the internet to what I saw and then the list goes on where people start getting in contact with me like, yo, you arguing with Mav. You know what I'm saying? But they wasn't calling him Mav. You arguing with Justin. So I'm like, Justin, where'd Justin come from? They said, that's what they call him now. You know what I'm saying? His mm -hmm. name is Mav Hoffa. They call him Mav now. You probably know him as Justin. So I'm like, all right, um... So after that, we just, you know, kept beefing. You know, it ain't nothing really serious in the hood with me and him. You know what I'm saying? A, a couple of my friends said that they uh basically let him know who I was. Right. And that we from the same neck of the woods. But, um... So you never met him physically? Like face-to-face? -face? No. Never met him face-to-face. -face. Just heard about each other? Yeah, just heard about each other. And, um, you know, me coming into the YouTube world... You know, I would have thought that he would reach out to those because it ain't only me that's, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, from the from the same neighborhood that Math is from. You know what I'm saying? We got other people whose content creators that's from that um that neighborhood that he actually never helped out or never reached out, as far as I know. All right. You know, um, and don't think that I'm just, you know what I'm saying, uh, down to him for not helping because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man. You know what I'm saying? My platform's doing well. So right. as how I feel, if I see you coming up, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to reach out, especially if you from my hood, you know, but that was my thing with Math Hoffa. That's how I feel. I jumped into it. I'm not saying that he started with me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I came at him because I felt if you in this game, at least, at least teach the ones that's under you and reach out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Get back. Get back. You know what I'm saying? I had a small platform. I had a small platform and I still was working with other content creators. Right. You know, and they wasn't even from my hood. Do you know if he's helped out anybody? On this platform? Did he help out anybody mm -hmm. on his platform? I never seen him with no guesses that was from that I recognize that's from our hood. Now, he worked out, he helped out other guesses, I mean, other people that's from different other hoods, you know what I'm saying? Um, He did do a show with one guy, Smith and & Wesson, and, um, and they end up with a, a fight axe, a fight that happened. But other than that, I never seen him. Did anybody, you know, was on the show with anybody that I actually, you know what I'm saying? No, like tech, I know tech. I see him in the hood face to face. Right. You know what I'm saying? But anybody who else, I never, that's from the hood, I never see him. So he doesn't sound like a person that that gives back or helps people out or is this all about himself? Yeah, that's how I feel. That's how I feel, sorry to say, you know? And I'm not, you know, he don't have to do, you know, give a hand out if he don't want to. Of course. You know what I'm saying? It's just that don't Nobody think has to. don't think you're gonna be claiming somebody neck of the woods or you know what I'm saying, and we ain't gonna speak up. That's like me. If I'm doing the hood grimy and I see dudes from my hood trying to get up, right, and I'm just standing there looking at y'all and I ain't reaching out, what you think they gonna do? They're gonna be like, come on, you a buster, like at least help us out. But, you know, instead of them helping us. You know what I'm saying? He prefer going to war with us. Mm. You know, and it just it, it is what it is. You know, um, the internet went crazy. So, do you think he did this for for gain for himself? Yes, I think I think it all was. It's a chess move. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, what actually happened was, 
uh, him and Hassan got into it. Me and Matt Hoffa, our drama been going on, but he never spoke on to it. He never spoke about it because right. he was actually making, have, getting bigger numbers at that time. So he didn't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? He was in his bag. He was like, man, why would I have to talk about y'all? My numbers is up. Right. Now, once his numbers decreased it, and he started seeing that 050 um, zip, zip with the drip, you know, Hassan, all of us, our, you know, our numbers is adding up. We doing numbers that's like yours. You got a mil. Right. I'm close to, what, 50,000 subscribers. Right. Right. Why, is my, why is my viewer numbers is closer than yours? You know what I'm saying? That don't look right. So his main thing was to do was, let me mess with the uh, dark side sector and cause ruckets. And it's gonna bring the viewers back to him. And that's what he did while I saw him. What do you think got him to where he's at right now with a million subscribers? What do you think got him to that point? At the beginning, when I when I got released from, from prison, um, I used to watch him, you know, he had a lot of great shows, but them shows was more, uh, how can I say it, more urban, black people, more, it was like ratchet, mm -hmm. but also upliftment, it was, right. but it was ratchet, you know what I'm saying, it was something to watch, Fat Joe, he had my boy Five Mics, you know, a couple of the celebrities, you know what I'm saying, okay. he blessed this platform, so it was a great platform to okay. watch. And I guess, I guess it was after uh, Tech Smith and Wesson, it just it fell off. You know what I'm saying? The platinum, the numbers started going down, and and it actually had to do with with people start to realize and start seeing that his co-hosts was leaving his show due to his, you know, what I'm saying allegedly not mm -hmm. paying them and things in that nature. Um.